Do you think it was wise to leave Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. the wind. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists! Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller, son? All right. I heard you the first time. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a Black Shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire, or their hundred full legions. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields, just now. You seen him, didn't you? 
At least I think it was a black shoes. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the arsene of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. <laughs>